Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Wadova for those who are new here and for those who are returning, thank you so much for being here. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about what to pack when you're preparing for your year abroad. I have a few girls that I'm working with that are preparing to leave for their host countries and they are super excited. They are like, oh girl, what do we pack and whatnot. So this video is for you guys and for anybody else who is packing and preparing for their year abroad. And so with no further ado, let's get into this video. So when I was preparing for my year abroad, I don't even think I knew what I was doing. I was just packing the things that I liked and the things that, oh, I got this one from whoever five months ago and I haven't worn it yet, but maybe I'll wear it. So I packed it, right? I packed so many jet tops, Mr. Bright tops, the jeans from Legit, those um, two for 250 or whatever it was, how much for. And... Um, yeah, I just packed way too many things and a lot of the clothing that I packed I never really wore. So let's start there. Do not overpack. Do not. There's so many things that you don't wear right now already if you know you haven't worn whatever you're packing or trying to pack the last three months. Let's take. Don't pack it. You're not going to wear it in your host country because you haven't even worn it where you are at. So don't pack anything you haven't worn like in the last three months. Don't pack it. You will not, you will not go wear it. Secondly, there's so many things that you think, oh, I love this top, but you love it and you like wore it once this year. Like why, why, why bother, right? So pack things that are essential. So firstly, when you're packing, you need to consider the season you're traveling into. The season you're traveling to. For example, right now in Namibia, it's summer. In France, it's winter. It's, it's December night, it's winter, it's this side. So consider the season you're traveling to, not from. Uh, if it's winter, if you're going into a country that's having winter season, when you get there, then you pack winter clothing only, I would say. Um, pack winter clothing only, um, two, two to three jeans or four if they're really good quality jeans, um, like undies, bras, socks, those you really need to, have to pack a lot off because firstly, it rains a lot this side. The weather is like really, it's like really cold all the time, meaning your things will take way longer to dry than it would back home. Like you put it in the sun a few hours, it's done. Here in these countries, it's like really cold. Things take longer to dry. And also if your host family do not have a dryer, then it will, take longer so instead of just packing like four pairs like get 10 pairs of socks 10 15 pairs of undies maybe I'm exaggerating but you know get enough so that you don't run out um, then you just pack like long sleeves you make sure like either four long sleeves four sweaters like a really proper winter coat if you have one if you don't you can pack a coat that you have and then get one when you get here um scarves and beanies if you wear beanies um basically pack clothing that you can use for the season that you arrive in and also clothing that you will you know that you will wear you can't have like a dress like oh this is for special occasions there will not be any special occasions unless you create them. So don't have the special occasions um, clothing and then home clothing or whatever. Just have clothes that you know that these are my everyday clothing and I'll wear this and, and then that's it. That's it. That's all you pack. And then also on top of the clothing and stuff, um, let's see. If you're arriving in the winter, I say one or two pairs of shoes should be fine for when you arrive. So Or three, slippers. If you need to have slippers before you get here because you can buy slippers here. Um, boots, a pair of proper boots if you would like to. Um, you could add waterproof boots like gum, rubber gum boots and maybe sneakers. That should be fine for the winter season. And then the summer you just, on top of that, you then just add like a pair of sandals or whatever. But then when you get this side, you decide how you're going to shop. Because when you're leaving, when you're done with your au pair year, same thing. You have to probably end up giving away some of your things to make space in your suitcase because you will buy you will definitely find stuff you like and you will just be like, oh, and you'll just end up buying it. Also on top of this clothing and stuff, bring things that are of sentimental value. This could be pictures of you and your family, your friends. Take pictures of you and your family and your friends because when you get this side, they're not here, the pictures help. I had like a whole part of my wall in my room 
with all my friends and my families back home and then also adding the my travel stuff so i had like well, it helped me when i was kind of going insane sometime when i'm homesick or whatever it helped me a whole lot if you're traveling during the summer then you don't pack any winter things you you pack maybe one you pack you pack like maybe one sweater and or like a denim jacket i always have i've always had a denim jacket didn't matter the time of the year because it could be winter i mean summer and then in the evening it could, it's quite cold depending on where you are also you always need the denim jacket or like a really light cute thingy um but when you're traveling during the summer do make sure to just pack the summer things and have one or two a sweater and a, like a denim jacket or whatever just to in case it gets chilly in the evening you have something to warm yourself up with but and no winter stuff no boots no anything like that to have the space and to travel a bit lighter um, so basically that's it when it comes to packing I hope I'm not leaving anything out. If I am and you've traveled before as an open whatever, please do leave some tips on how and what you did when you were packing in the comment section down below. And um, it would surely be helpful for another person that's preparing to move to their host country. And so if you loved watching this video, do not forget to subscribe if you haven't. Leave a like and also a comment in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.